welcome back to the channel today I'll be doing another track workout on the indoor track but it will be at the at the university instead of at the high school so it will be a different one it will be the same one I did the tempo on I'll be doing 10 by 300 at kind of a mile effort pace so I'm wanting to be hitting at least 60 seconds per rep and it's one lap for 300 so it should be pretty fun to go really fast I haven't gone this fast in a while a really long time actually so it'll be fun to see how I handle it and how my legs feel by the end. All right, everyone, switching shoes just did a mile warm up and some drills. Switching into these. I'm racing these for the Main Street Mile, so I figured I'd use them for the indoor track since they don't have spikes. Um, spikes aren't allowed, so yeah. But it'll be interesting because I haven't ran in these in a long time, so it'll be fun to go fast. They're the lightest shoes I have, so lighter than most spikes.
well under 60. Well under 60, mostly 57. I'm not the average pace, I'll put it on the screen eventually. But... Oh. It feels really good to go fast. I feel like my old self again. So that's nice. Oh. Yeah, I had to be close to a five flat average pace. Kind of close to that. For my first real full speed workout. That's my goal this year is to break five, so if I'm anywhere near that right now for 10 300s. I also was doing a minute rest for the first five and then about 45 seconds for the last five, so I closed in a 52. It's 54 52 for the last 54, 55 52 for the last two, so yeah, I'm gonna have that. I'll talk more later when I'm less tired. Cool down. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more thoughts um, as I'm a little less tired now. because so I was immediately after I was done working out that last clip. But So the workout was amazing, honestly. It was really, really good. I haven't had a workout like that in a long time, so it felt really good to go fast. So I averaged 505 per mile uh, for 3,000 meters total of running. Uh, it was 928 for the total time, so... Obviously, I'm not going to run that fast for 3K, but the fact that I ran 505 pace for 300s on the indoor track with those 90 degree turns um, off of 60 second rest for the first half and then 45 second rest for the second half gives me really good hopes for the spring, which I have a goal of running under 5 for the mile. So if I can do that now in the winter when I'm still tapering and I'm still feeling kind of iffy, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it, honestly, and I will say that the Run Fast Pros that I was talking about earlier in the video uh, felt amazing, super good on the indoor track. I haven't run in the indoor track with them ever, so. And next week I'll be doing mile, re mile repeats on the same track, probably, and I'll probably do the race there too. I think it's just better than the other one. The turns are not as bad because it's a four-lane track instead of basically one and a half or one, uh, and there's a lot less people probably the same amount of people but there's some because there's more room um, there's just a lot less issues with walkers and stuff so I'm uh, probably going to do the 3k time trial on the 26th on that track um, if you've watched my videos um, for the past year you'll know that last year I ran 552 two times on the indoor track this same one um, and so I'll be going for close to that pace for 3k on this track um, a year later. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in about 15 days, 16 days from now. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I can do 6 minute pace to run an all time PR on the indoor track. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it turned out well, and if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. Next week, like I said, it'll be mile repeats, and the next week after that will be the time trial. So. I'll see you next time.